Now to that daring mission to recover the remaining victims from that volcano in New Zealand. Crews are going back in to try and find the two still missing despite fears of another possible eruption. Marcus Moore is in New Zealand with more on the risky effort. Good morning, Marcus. Oh, Michael, good morning. We're just outside the main hospital in Auckland. This is where the coroner will work to uh, positively identify those six bodies removed from the island. And as you said, crews in Wakatani today are getting ready for a new mission later today. These are new images of that dangerous and daring recovery effort. Search teams were able to retrieve six victims from the White Island, but the search is not yet complete. Officials could not find two remaining bodies. While the situation is still, quote, highly volatile, they won't give up. And they are working together to plan for tomorrow. They will redeploy, and it will be the New Zealand police dive team and some of the Navy dive team as well. Despite the instability at Fakari Volcano, teams are taking to the sky and sea to make sure everyone is returned home. The New Zealand Defence Force seen here in their protective gear, scouring the mud and ash-covered island. There is a 50 to 60 percent chance another eruption could happen in the next 24 hours. As a result, officials have expanded the no-access zone overnight, saying that while the volcanic tremor has decreased, magma from beneath the surface is rising. Quote, vigorous steam mud is releasing from the vent areas and gas emissions in the air are increasing. As this small town grieves, there is the obvious question about what happens next for the island and tourism. Should the volcano be accessible for tourists? Look, this is something that uh, questions that need to be asked and in time will be answered. But right now, um, our thoughts are with uh, the families who have lost loved ones. It does seem right now that all is all of the focus is on those families and helping them find closure. This as many survivors face months of recovery ahead and others are fighting for their lives. Eleven of them suffering critical burns and are in critical condition this morning. Cecilia. You're certainly thinking of them still. Okay, Marcus, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.